Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary. Today I'm going to be talking about this guy right here as you saw on the thumbnail. This is a Rock Island Armory TM-22. Uh, it does have a dash A-18. Dash I'm not sure if that's part of the name, but TM-22. I picked this up at a Rural King and I got a little bit of a discount because it was the last one they had and they took some off because it had been handled quite a bit and uh, it had been uh, yeah scratched up anyhow it's not a bad little uh, 22 looking 22 and uh, you can get in this out the door uh, with uh, tax and background check for right around 300 bucks if you don't get a discount or anything or don't catch it on sale so uh, it does come with a rail on the top and a threaded barrel so if you want to put a suppressor or some type of muzzle device on it you can um, the grip appears to be an AR grip. I haven't tried to change it out with an AR style grip, but it does kind of meet the profile. It is a little bit angled, so I might check that out down the line. Uh, the stock on it is just a fixed uh, metal tube type thing with a little kind of brace end on it. Uh, it does have a sling connection here on the inside if you're right-handed. So on the back, nothing on the front. So, but I figured, you know what? Uh, for right at 300 bucks and with the uh, knockoff the price I got knocked off for it being dinged up and scratched pretty good I was like I gotta give it a try so I uh, I didn't have any fancy optic to put on it yet and so I just have this little uh, this is a uh, UTG optic I don't even know if it's gonna be sighted in well or not I'm not really looking to aim at anything so uh, I just want to get some shots through it and see how it handles uh, everything so get that line on there we go uh, it does come with two 10 round mags and I'll tell you what the mags are alloy and uh, yeah they look pretty uh, pretty stout you can get 15 round mags and 25 round mags which I have one of each I ordered and luckily they came in before I did this video so it does not have a bolt catch so the magazine acts as the bolt catch. Once you drop the mag, the bolt will slide forward. It does have a little handle right here to pull the bolt back on the uh, left side of the firearm. Your safety is right here. There you go. And it does have kind of a flat trigger there if you can see it. Uh, so yeah, all right, let's give it a shot here. Got one of the 10 round mags loaded up. Loaded right in, so here we go. Make sure I'm in my camera views here. Safe day. Hmm, did pretty good. As you can see, the magazine locked it back. Pull the magazine out, bolt slides forward. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put this other 10 round mag the, that came with it in here. All righty, here we go. cycled all those really well uh, I tell you what other than the bolt kind of sliding forward when you pull the mag out it's pretty neat it's pretty nice little uh, rifle for like 300 bucks a little plinker and everything I'm not sure what I'm gonna do optic wise but uh, you know I guess you could put a scope on it if you wanted to I'll probably just pick up some type of red dot you know not this one this is I kind of just throw this on things to try out stuff so uh, we'll see we'll see so all right well Let's do some bigger mags here. So these are um, made by, uh, I guess, Rock Island Armory or Arm Score or whatever it is. Um, I did. I wasn't able to get them from their website. I had to go to a different website. Uh, they seem to be a bit hard to find, but uh, lucky, luckily, I uh, I found a 15 rounder and a 25 rounder, so I could try them out. So, all right, here we go. Oh, all right. And our first problem there, a shell failed to extract. It got must have bunged around in there and got caught up in it. So let's just get that guy out. And it probably loaded one. So we'll drop the mag. Put this one that came out with it. 
in there. Holy cow, I'm fumbling today. All right, there we go. Yeah, man, it gnarled it up pretty good. Yeah, look at that. All right. Well, let's continue on. Here we go. All right, other than that one bounce around in there, uh, it's done so it's done really well so far so yeah I'm kind of liking it I am kind of liking it yeah I'll probably do another video on this thing down the line after I put an optic on it that I like and uh, maybe bring out my suppressor for it and stuff like that but um, I think it's pretty cool let me know what you think put a comment down in the comment section if you have one of these uh, and maybe what you've done to it well now let's do this 25 round mag and I tell you what, for a little 22 plinker with that 25 round mag in there, it's looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty cool. So, <sighs> alrighty, here we go. All right, failed to grab one. I can find so that might just be wearing in but uh I tell you what yeah for uh right at $300 plus my discount for the scratches and stuff uh I'm not going to complain at all I think this is going to be a sweet little plinker uh I'll probably get something a little bit more low profile for a for an optic some type of little red dot or something like that definitely put my suppressor on it and run some subsonic through here would be so cool so I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'll show you some of the marks it had right here if you can see them. I know I'm in the shadow and stuff like that, but there was some marks right here from where they kept pulling it in and out of the, uh, out of the case and stuff like that. The little brackets they had to hold it. And then there was some marks here on the, on the stock piece. But uh, yeah, a couple marks down here at the magwell and up here on the front and the barrel. So I don't know. I can always have it Cerakote. I got a guy that's doing that now, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But if you have one of these, let me know your thoughts on it and what you uh, maybe have done to it or what you would suggest doing to it to make it the nice little plinker I think it could become. So, all right. That's all I got for you on this video. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, also, I am doing 4K now, so let me know what you think of the video. Uh, I got all three cameras here going 4k so uh put a comment down tell me if you think the videos are better quality or not and uh other than that uh i appreciate you watching y'all have a good day